Do I still know how to use this thing? I hope so. Uh, wow. I'm actually filming this. Uh, hi. It's been a while. Um, I so badly want to do like, what's up y'all? It's Lydia, Lydia, Lydia. Um, I, I don't even remember the last time I did that. Well, yeah, it's it's been a while. It's been a little over two years at this point since I've posted or recorded anything for that fact. Um, well, I lied. I tried to record something about a year ago, a little over a year ago, um, before the whole world changed. So I wanna say back in like February or something like that of last year and I was not in the right mental space, headspace, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I really, I don't want to drag this out too much or too long or go on a whole like apology tour because you know, hindsight is 2020. I, I definitely needed that time. I wish it didn't take me this much time. Um, and I could, I wish more than anything, I didn't have to go through what I went through over the past two years and and to just sum it up, I, over the last two years, have been in the worst mental space, head space, heart space, emotional space I have ever been in in my entire life. Um, I'm kind of terrified to even be saying this uh, because I just know just how many people this reaches but that's also the exact reason why I want to record this and post this before I you know I hope to go back to posting on a regular basis and I would feel really disingenuine if I didn't come on here and just be like yo this is what's been going on in my life and what's been going on with me and um, that's why I'm doing this but for lack of a better word call it a depression call it anxiety call it a rut call it I don't whatever you want to call it that's what I was feeling and going through um, I felt so lost I felt like I had no purpose um, I was so insecure horrible self-talk negative thought patterns constant dwelling like it was a debilitating aching toxic cycle and I hated myself for it which is why I say a toxic cycle because the feelings that I were feeling were let alone toxic but because I was feeling those out of just like guilt because I have a really blessed and beautiful life I hated myself even more for it um, I just I completely lost my light um, and the pandemic didn't really help if anything it turned into an excuse for me um i i i stopped getting ready i stopped talking to friends i stopped really hanging out with my family consistently i stopped replying to people i just i just stopped everything and i had no motivation for anything and i got into some really low 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 points um points where i was just like crying myself to sleep at night and I don't know if you guys can like tell the fear in my voice like my heart is racing really bad and I'm trying everything in me not to cry um just because that's what happened when I tried to film this over a year ago I just I couldn't even film it I just kept crying and breaking down every time um but you know as scared as I am now I am in such a better headspace I and it's literally all thanks to God's grace like I would not I could not even imagine being where I am now without his grace and I just I just am excited for life now I'm excited to live life like life is so short we literally have such a finite amount of time here on this precious earth and I I just don't want to look back at my life thinking like what am I doing? What did I do? Why? Why did I just waste all this time being like 
a vessel of nothingness um doing nothing besides just working like literally at points like i felt like i was waking up and just repeating the same day over and over and over and over and over again and it's li it was insane because you know on on one end i would work like crazy um i was blessed to you know still have a job throughout all of this whole pandemic and everything like that and i dove into work like crazy uh i became a workaholic more than you ever know it working 12 hour days when when i didn't really need to and i think a part of that was because i was looking for a sense of like control um and just a sense of i don't know just something that I could use to distract myself from my own inner thoughts um, and while I'm so grateful for that at the time because it really gave me a reason to just wake up every day I I don't want that to be the only reason why I wake up every day I want I want more than that and you know I love my job I love the people I work with I love what I do I love also creating here I love I love all the things that I used to love before I got into that horrible space in my life and time in my life and you know I'm healing I'm trying to get better for it better from it um and and yeah I I just I just hope whoever sees this watches this um just knows that like you matter and if you ever or even if you are feeling any of the things that I'm feeling like I know how much this shit sucks like I I would not wish it upon my worst enemy um, and it's going to be a slow and steady process and all I can ask is you bear with me have patience um, but I mean I can genuinely say I am feeling and getting better and like I said before I'm just so excited for life to wake up every day be be a source of light for people have a sense of energy and just yeah all the good things and before i jump off i just need to say thank you thank you to anyone and everyone who reached out who said something sweet and nice um who showed concern was like hey i noticed you haven't posted in a while are you doing okay saying prayers for you all of that like means and meant the world to me um so so thank you uh and for those watching this who know me in real life and you know see me in person um just know if you bring this up just be very sensitive and delicate with me um i'm not used to talking about this this is the first time i'm kind of like trying to let this all out and airing this out and honestly i feel really good uh, it feels a lot better than I thought it would be. It kind of just feels like a huge release and a huge weight lifted off of my shoulder. But, um, yeah, just, just be patient and delicate with your girl. Uh, I, I hope to be getting back in the swing of things here in the YouTube world. Um, I love creating content, so that's just a big part of, you know, what I want to get back to as well. But, Regardless, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see y'all very soon. Peace.